Hello there! Let's talk about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the method that plant cells use to make energy, and it starts with the sun. When the sun's rays hit a plant leaf. Now, when that happens, the light is actually interacting with tiny little organelles inside the plant cells that are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain stacks of little discs that are called thylakoids, and inside each thylakoid are specialized pigments called chlorophyll that harvest the energy from the sun's rays and turn it into ATP, which is the cell's form of energy currency. But it's not quite that simple. You see, photosynthesis requires three things, oxygen, carbon, and water molecules to happen. Those three things are used to make glucose, which is a simple sugar. The glucose is broken down in glycolysis, where it is turned into two pyruvate molecules. The two pyruvate molecules are used in the Krebs cycle, where they are turned into NADH and FADH plus molecules. Those two molecules are used in what's known as the electron transport chain to produce ATP, and it makes much more of it than any other process. Now, in the electron transport chain, excited electrons in the NADH and FADH plus molecules have a series of interactions that all produce ATP. And it can produce up to 34 ATP, which is way more than any other process. But it can only do this when oxygen is present. When oxygen is not present, however, no ATP can be made. Instead, the pyruvates are recycled in anaerobic processes that are known as alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation takes pyruvates and makes, what else? Lactic acid. Alcoholic fermentation, on the other hand, takes pyruvates and makes ethanol. Both of these can be used later, and that, folks, is cellular respiration in a nutshell. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you learned something.